Hi, welcome to Image Labeling. In this section, we're going to discuss implementing image labeling on the device, implementing image labeling on the cloud, configuring image labeling, and trying out image labeling. Implementing image labeling on the device. In this video, we're going to discuss working with Firebase Vision Label Detector, detecting the camera feed image, and displaying the results on the screen. Now since today we're looking at image labeling, the first place we'll start is on our live preview activity and we'll go to our create camera source method as we have been in the previous videos and sections and we'll go down to image label detection. We'll see that our frame processor is image labeling processor. So let's click into that and see what we find. So as expected, we find here that image labeling processor extends vision processor base and that the generic type that's passed in is a list of Firebase Vision labels. We'll get the Firebase Vision label later, but as you can imagine from the previous sections and videos, that this just contains the data that's found when detecting a label. So it'll likely just contain a string of what it detected. Now the important thing here is in our constructor, we see the instantiation of detector and that is a Firebase Vision label detector. So looking into that, this is not a open source class, so we don't really understand what's going on in here. But that's besides the point. We know that for image labeling, we need to use a Firebase Vision label detector. Okay, so moving on down to the rest of the classes here. Again, since this extends Vision Processor label, we expect that we have a stop method a detect in image method, an on success, and an on failure. We won't go through on stop and detect an image again because we have been through those in the previous videos, but we know here that it just returns a detector dot detect an image passing in the Firebase Vision image. Now looking at the on success, this is where the results get displayed on the image. So the first thing is it clears the graphic overlay and then it creates a label graphic and then it adds it to the graphic overlay. Okay, so let's look at label graphic. So label graphic, as we can see, it extends a graphic, so it's something that's displayed on a graphic overlay. And basically the method that we wanna look at here is draw. So in draw, here we just get the X and Y coordinates of the overlay itself. And then we loop through the labels that we got back. So within Firebase Vision Label, again, this is not open source, so we get a bunch of uh, obfuscated variable names. But we can see here from the label that we are drawing a text of label.getLabel. Now, as we can imagine, .getLabel probably returns just the label of what was found. But let's see what else we can find in this method. So if we just do label. we'll see get confidence, get entity ID, and get label. So what these are is get confidence is basically when you show an image of a dog, for example, and then the ML kit returns dog or cat, for example, it'll give a confidence level. So it'll say this image is either a cat or a dog, and I am 10% confident that it's a cat, and I'm 90% confident that it's a dog. So within our logic in our code, we can say, for example, only label this if label dot get confidence is greater than 0 0.9. So then what we're doing here is we're saying, only label something on the image feed if we are confident about it. Let's leave this out for now, but we will look at it a little bit later. 